Hey there, we're, going, we're reviewing our phonics and spelling. And this week we just have one skill, but it's got a lot of different skills in it, okay? So before we even start our lesson, we're gonna just play with some sounds a little bit, okay? So I want you to say the word ball. Now I want you to change b to t. What'd you get? Tall, okay, good. Now, say tall, adds to the beginning. Stall, right? Okay, this is challenging. Okay, now, say stall. And change the ah uh sound to i. Still, good. All right, now, stay, say still and take the s off. What'd you get? Till, good. All right, say till. Change I to E. Tell. All right, good job. All right, say tell. Change E to O. Toll. Is it hard or easy? Okay, so say toll. Now after T, I want you to add R. That's the hardest one so far. So say toll. And after T, add R. Troll. Okay, all right, good job. Now say troll, take off t. What'd you get? Roll, good. All right, roll, change r to p. Pole, good job. All right, say pole, change o to u. Pull, all right, good job. All right, say pull, change p to b. Bull. Good. And one more. Say bull. Change u uh to ah. Uh. Ball. Right where we started. All right. Good job. All right. Now we're going to look at just a little review from last week. And I want you to look at these sentences here. Whoops. Okay. So let's read this first sentence together. There's a problem with all of my sentences. Okay. Let's look at the first one. She has red lip gloss. What's the problem with the first sentence? I want you to touch the word that's spelled wrong. Did you find it? It is this word here. Yep. What's wrong with it? If we have a word that ends with has short vowel and it ends with a sound, it needs a double, right? That's the San Francisco Zoo rule. All right, let's look at the second one. Will you pass the glass? All right, touch the screen if you see a word that's misspelled. How many words are misspelled in this sentence? Two words. Good job. All right. The first one is pass. It needs two S's. And the second one is glass. Same thing. Short vowel. It ends with that S. We need a double. All right. Look at the next one. You read it. He is at the top of the cliff. See if you can find a word that's wrong. Cliff, good job. What does it need? Two Fs. Awesome. That's the San Francisco Zoo rule. It ends, it has a short vowel, one syllable, it ends with an F. We need two Fs. Good. And read that last sentence. Kim will go to the jazz club. Did anybody find the misspelled word? Jazz, good job. We need two Z's, San Francisco Zoo, S-F-Z. We have a short vowel, it ends with Z, we need two. All right, now let me see if I can ask you one more question. Why does Kim start with a K and not a C? K takes I and E, C takes the other three. Great, A, O, and U. All right, so. This week we're going to be talking about special vowel combinations and we're going to start with A-L-L. -L. So when we have A-L-L, -L, the, L, the double L changes the sound of the A. So normally A says A, ah, right? But when we put the double L behind it, it says all. So it takes on that short O sound. So it's a special vowel combination. So when we have those double L's, it changes the vowel sound sometimes. So when we have a special vowel combination, we mark the vowel with an X, but we go ahead and arc the whole 
special vowel combination because it stays together, okay? So let's look at some words that use the A-L-L. -L. Whoops. Let's see, hang on. Let's go to the next one. I need to skip this slide. Okay, let's read these words. I remember when we have A-L-L, -L, instead of saying owl, it says all, right? So we have, ooh, let's look at this one. This is one of, that, one of those tricky letters, but the straight line is first. I'm gonna put my mouth in a straight line. B, all, ball, right? We mark that vowel and arc the special vowel combination. This one is k, call. Mark the vowel, arc the special vowel combination. Why does it start with a C? Okay, takes I and E, C, takes the other three, A, O, and U. Good. All right, this one, all, fall. And this one, t, all, talk. All right. So then, so that's what happens to the A when we have the double L behind it. The E actually keeps sort of the same sound when it has the double L behind it. It just still says L, E-L-L. -L. But we still mark that vowel and arc the special vowel combination. So let's look at these words. Tell, mark the vowel, arc the special vowel combination. Mm, what are we gonna say here? Math goes in a straight line first. B bell. Arc the vowel, mark the vowel, arc the vowel combination. This one says L well. Mark the vowel, arc the special vowel combination. And this one is fell. Mark the vowel, arc the special vowel combination. Okay, same with the I. When it is followed by the double L, it basically keeps the same thing. It keeps that I sound ill, but we mark the vowel, arc the vowel combination. Okay, so these words are our ILL -L words. There's not all of them, but let's read these words. On this word, we're gonna mark the vowel, arc the vowel combination, ill, fill, right? All right, I have my straight line first here, so b, ill, bill. This one, the same thing works with the P, okay, but the straight line goes down, so pill. And this one, will. All right, very good. Now, when we have O, the O sounds really different, okay? Normally, the O says ah, but remember the A takes on that sound when we have a double L. So when we have the O in front of a double L, it actually says its name. It says O, O, okay? So we mark that vowel, arc the special vowel combination. So let's read these words. Roll, pull. Okay, this pole right here is a different kind of pole. So this pole is like if you go to vote, that's a pole. Or if you vote, and if, if your teacher says, who likes M&Ms, and who likes Snickers, and who likes Twix, that's a pole. Okay, and then we have troll. Here's a blend there, so we mark that blend first, usually. But on this one, we've just shown you the special vowel combination, troll, like the kind that lives under the bridge in the billy goat's gruff. And then we have toll here. And the toll is what sometimes you have to pay when you go across the bridge. All right. And then ULL actually has two different sounds. Okay, it keeps its, its, its short vowel, uh, ol, right? Or it can say uh, like in pull. Okay, so it's the same way we mark the vowel, arc the special vowel combination. So this one, this word is, oh look, the circle's first, dull, right? That has that sort of same short U. And then this one is gull, like the bird, like a seagull. But this word here, F-U-L-L, -L, it's pronounced full. Like after I eat a big meal, I feel really full. And then this word, pull, 
same thing. It has that same uh, sound. Okay, so let's practice a little bit. So I want you to get some paper or anything to write on and something to write with. If you need to pause the video, go ahead and pause the video, but I want you to get something to write on because we're going to practice writing some words, okay? I'll give you just a second. All right, time to go. So I'm going to give you just a few words to practice writing, okay? Now, I don't know if you guys remember our signals, but I'm going to give it to you. I'm going to say it twice, so it's going to come from my mouth, right? And when you receive it, you're going to take it to your ears, right, two times. And then I want you to say it back to me twice, and I'm going to take it to my ears, okay? Just like we do in class, and you guys have been doing this for a while, I believe. Okay, so your first word, get ready. So I'm like this, but you're like this, because you're going to take it to your ears. Okay, here we go. Bell, bell. He rang the bell when it was time for church. Bell. I want you to write the word, mark the word, and then read the word. Okay, you should have spelled it B-E-L-L, -L, an X under the E, and an ARC under E-L-L. -L. All right, good. All right, your next word. We're going to do four, okay? All right, so I'm like this. You're like this. You're going to take it to your ears. Ready? Paul, Paul. <clears throat> he walked down the long hall to his office. Paul, write the word, mark it, and then read it. <laughs> okay, do you remember what? letter makes the ah sound with the double l's it's the a right so hall is spelled h a l l you put an x under the a and arc a l l we're not going to do four we're going to do five okay so get ready next word pill pill I take my vitamin C pill every morning so I won't get sick. Pill. Okay, pill is spelled P-I-L-L. -L. Put an X under the I and an arc under I-L-L. -L. Okay? All right. Let's see. All right, ready? Roll, roll. I like to eat a roll with my spaghetti. Roll. Right, how do you spell roll? R-O-L-L. -L. It has that O sound with the double L. Put an X under the O and arc O-L-L. -L. All right, last one. Ready? Pull, pull. When you play tug of war, you have to pull hard on the rope. Pull. All right, how do you spell pull? P-U-L-L. -L. All right, good job. So put an X under the U and arc the entire U-L-L. -L. All right, let's read some words. And then we'll be done. So we're going to look just at this first line here. We're going to read these special vowel combinations. Ready? All. And it says that short O, -O sound. L. O. And then it could be O or U. And ill. All right, let's read this first line of words. Ready? Ball. Bell. Troll. Bull, Bill. We're going to read just this first sentence. Ready? The tall troll fell in the well. The tall troll fell in the well. Who fell in the well? How did the troll 
get in the well. Where did the troll go? Okay, that's all for today. We'll do the next group tomorrow.